Alright, so this is going to be a tutorial on how to solve the 2x2 two two using the Ortega method. The Ortega method has three steps. The first step has no cases, the second step has eight cases, and the third step has five cases. So, a few algorithms you have to learn, and after you learn it, if you get pretty good with it, you should be able to get around four or five seconds. So, let's get into it. Alright, so this first step is to solve one side. Now, take note that I did say one side and not one layer. So if I were trying to build a layer, I could do something like this, which would solve a layer, but we're not trying to do that. We're only trying to solve one side. So if I have these two pieces right here, these two aren't paired correctly, but that's alright. We're only trying to do one side. This is perfectly acceptable. Now, I very, very highly encourage you that you go ahead and just figure this out on your own because there aren't really any quote-unquote hard cases. Um, you, you should be able to get this down pretty easily. And I also recommend that you would be color neutral for this method, but in case you aren't, I am going to be solving my sides on white. Um, and I'll give you a few examples of how you could solve one side, except you can just skip over that if you're pretty confident that you can solve a side already. Well, if I have three on the bottom, and I have one corner left to insert, instead of doing something like this, it's actually a lot easier to know that this sticker, whenever I do an R2, it's going to end up here, and then vice versa, if it was here, it would end up here. So I can place this sticker in the respective location to that corner. So when I do an R2, it pairs up, and I can put it back down. So, you know, instead of having like a six-move solution to insert this, I can do one, two, three. In regards, otherwise I have to do something like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, which isn't as effective. All right, so after we have one side done, the next step is to solve the top side or the opposite side. So yellow is opposite of white. So there's no centers, but I still know I have to solve yellow because I know that white and yellow are opposites. If you know to look OLL or to look CMLL, then you should already know the orientation cases for this and all the algs that you can use. But if you don't, I do highly encourage that you use the algs I'm about to show you here because they're a lot more efficient since we don't have edge pieces to worry about. We can have a little bit more freedom in what we do on the 2x2 two two and have more efficient cases and more efficient algorithms. So I'm going to show you all of the cases and all the algs you need to learn. I'm going to go through them pretty quickly, but you can pause and look at them and take your time, take as much time as you need. All right, so quick recap. We first solved one side like this, and then we solved the opposite side. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do something known as PBL, permute both layers, because we have this layer left to solve, these two pieces, and this layer left to solve, which is these two pieces. There aren't too many algorithms for this, um, and you probably don't know these, so you're going to want to watch the next part and see how to do each of these algorithms. Okay, so whenever we're on PBL, you're either going to need to swap, what, on, for each layer, you'll either need to swap two pieces uh, adjacent or two pieces diagonally, or you'll have a solved layer. So that's what you're going to want to look for when you're looking for recognition. 
Okay, so the first case is we have two paired up on the top and two paired up on the bottom. So you're going to place them so that they're both on the same side and they're on the back. And you're going to do this algorithm. The next case you can get is you have only two paired. These are all, these are need to be diagonally swapped. So you have just a pair of two, a single one. You're going to put it uh, at the top front. You're going to do this alg. Alright, for this case, we have no two pairs. So you can see that this needs to be swapped with this, and this needs to be swapped with this. So they're all diagonal swaps. So what we're going to do is this is the easiest case. It's just... So there are two cases you can get that are slightly longer. You can use PLL or CMLL algorithms for this. So here we have made a layer on the bottom. So we're going to need to switch these two pieces diagonally. So for this case, you're going to want to use the Y perm. Okay, so for this case, we have to switch two adjacent pieces, and we have a full layer on the bottom. You can either use the T perm or the J perm in this situation. So we can put these pieces on the right, and we can do the T perm or the J perm, which will switch these two in these two edges. So I would recommend to use one of those if you're more of a beginner because they're easier and, not, and less likely that you'll mess them up. But I prefer to use the J perm, which switches the pieces in the back and it would switch these two edges theoretically if they were there. Although I can't really do this algorithm slow because I lose track of the pieces um, since they're mostly dealt with in the back. And I think it's just a little harder to get down every time, so I'd only use this if you want to get a little bit faster. Alright, so the J-Perm from the back goes like this. Okay, so now that you know how to do the Ortega method, um, I want to give you some tips and tricks on how to get faster. So, one thing is you need to be color neutral, which means I can start by solving this out on green, red, blue, orange, yellow, or white, so I have a larger range of options. Um, another thing would be to get down your OLL cases as fast as possible and get the most efficient ones. And then also you want to work on PBL recognition because that can be really difficult because you can have pairs in the back and pairs on the side. So if you're finding that you're not getting the times you want, you should work on being color neutral having efficient OLs, and getting good PBL recognition. Alright, so now that you know how to solve your 2 by 2 I'm going to be doing one example solve. But one thing I forgot to mention when telling how to get faster, is you need to work on your finger tricks. Good finger tricks are the most important thing in getting fast at 2 by 2 at least in my opinion, because you can have amazing algs, but if you don't have good finger tricks to perform them, then you're not going to get that fast. I'm not all that fast on 2 by 2 but... I'm okay, so I'm just going to do one example solve, and then that'll be it. So, I look here, and I see orange is alright, but so I have three, but since this corner is stuck in there, that's slightly annoying, so I may want to avoid that. I see that white is decent, so I think I'll start there. Yeah. Alright, so what I'll do for white is I have a piece here, piece here, and a pair there. So I could do R, U2, R2, U prime, R2. And then I have this case. So I could just do U and then out like that. And then just a Y prime.